côté de Gaston Calmé? Notre tête de Jack Gautus? Look, you, you, your shoelace untied. My shoelace untied? Yes! Just now, hold this to me. I, 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 I don't have a shoelace. Check my own part of the bus. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me hear it out here one more time for Louis Antoine. And a brief um, appearance by Larry Joseph. Yeah, yeah. None of them in police, both of them is thief. I can all now start. I just want to let David know that Trinidadian in dancing, so I give them kind of dance. Eh? Trinidadian has changed dance so quick that even at that time it was the Iwa. Everybody, Iwa. Iwa. People ain't doing them thing again, boy. That time everybody was going so. I never see dance change so boy. It had one called paddling. I tell you, they just change. We just change dance. I tell you, footstep, footstep, stamp it on the ground, bang a day, on the ground, bang. right to go down. One, get ready to go. Two, get ready to go. Three, get ready to go. Four, get ready to go. One, two, one, two, three. And here, the whole thing down there is doctors and lawyers and magistrates, you know. Carnival, boy. Oh, gosh. You could get people to do anything. Anyhow, people, we are to continue with this comedy blowout. Oh, gosh. I ain't really getting older. Eh? You know what was going on there? Remind me of a fella. He gone hunting that evening. When he looks so, he see a sign in the forest. Here with Mark, warning. Faggot on the loose. Well, boy, when the man said he cracked the gun and he have it set to shoot. And as he continued going up in the thing, he see the sign dropping lower and the writing getting smaller. So every time he move up. <laughs> warning. Faggot on the loose. And he just continued going up deeper in the forest and the sign dropping low, low, low. And he had to go to Golom, so warning, faggot on the loose. The man go up, he go up. You know what? You know, when the sign gets small and it gets low and it drop, as he bend down so to read, he feels something hit him behind. Pop! You know what the sign changed? We did warn you. People make some noise, say yeah, yeah. All right, here yeah, what's happening. Right about now, we're going to continue with this blowout. And I'm bringing on stage some performers. They're coming to do something for us. The name of this piece, Oh God, girl. Put all your hands together and welcome. Welcome them. I'll tell you all about it later. You just frustrated me, shit. No, I ain't want to hear nothing. Leave me alone, Roy. Shit, man. That's a shit. I mean, let me go, Roy. Let me go. This ain't making no sense. What do you mean it ain't making no sense, man? It had Red Bull out there. Pim juice. All kind of things sell it. Oh, gosh. When last you drink a good tea, Your last, last, last week I drank 14 cups of sea moss, you know. Oh shit, man, 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 Jenny, man. I was tired. Tired? Is dead, you're dead. <laughs> Jenny, Jenny, have a little patience with me, man. Patience? A patient right in front of me. <laughs> you know what? You need Viagra. Oh shit, man, Jenny, man, what I do wrong? Yeah, do a thing, and that is what wrong. 
You don't understand, Jenny, man. I was trying. Trying what? All them set of antics. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> eh? And you still eh, do nothing. Where you think this is? Planet of the Apes? <laughs> Wait. Roy, you was hearing yourself? I wasn't hearing you. Shit. It's two weeks supposed to work inside a day. You wasn't doing that, man. Shit, man. I'll tell you, tell you one hand or clap. You try clapping with two hands when one in a sling. Wait, 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 wait. What are you trying to tell me? I'm trying to tell you. I'm telling you. The thing in a sling. <laughs> You remember how you used to boast and tell me about, oh, what, what you gonna do to me when you meet me? That was just a set of talk. Well, I'm talking to you now, Jenny. Let me go back and try, no man. We still have a chance. A chance? <laughs> Wait. You play a quick pick and you lost. You gambling or what? Jenny, let me go back and try for your sake and my sake, please. Try what? Try what? I just went through hell. You think I want to be in limbo now? You don't understand, baby. I love you with a passion. You're passionately challenged. <laughs> you see, you see, you see why I was telling it? Let me forget the foreplay, jump into the thing one time. Forget foreplay. That is robbery. What happens, dog? He's know what? Shit. How you aggressive, so? Well, somebody had to be aggressive here. Here yeah, now, nah. I lose a whole day's pay just to be here with you, you know. Look, you Je could pay me for the day. Jenny, I will pay you for the day. But wait, you think I'm making pairs or something? Oh, jeez, that ages, man. Is you that one pay? Roy, you can't pay me for the day. All right, Jenny. How much money you just make a day on your work? I just make a hundred dollars a day on my work. A stinking hundred dollars, boy? I will give you the hundred dollars, Jenny. How you mean you're gonna give me the hundred dollars? They said the same thing, you know? Uh-huh. You want more? What do you ask? <laughs> Shit! Jenny, it's eight hours a day you just spend on your work for a stinking hundred dollars. How much time you here now? But you damn fast, I tell you, they said the same thing. Uh-huh. That is work. Uh-huh. So what is this then? I was just asking. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You lie, you want more? Who the hell is this? This man getting on like if I make him tears. But Jenny, is you don't come up with the work and the pay and the all kind of thing. You and I were supposed to be a simple couple here making a little love. You know what, Roy? Just forget it and go. Uh -huh. You don't want the money then? I say, forget it. All right, thanks, eh? But what do you mean, thanks? Thanks for the... For the what? Thing. Hey, <laughs> me ain't no cheap woman, you know? Hey, hey, I never tell you I get something free, you know? Free? Who would you ask this man to... What? No, 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 Take it easy, now, man. You're going on like a real uh, kind of... Sorry. <laughs> Valentine pass. I didn't give you nothing. I'm giving you this for Valentine, Jenny. I don't want it. Hey, it's $800 I spent on this thing, you know? Let me see it. I thought you didn't want it. Right, let me see the brass thing, eh? You know what you have in your hand, eh? What? That is, that is eight days pay you have in your hand, you know. <laughs> and you didn't even make a four hours yet. I don't like how it's sung in. I don't like how it's sung in, too. I'm just telling you, you're not on minimum wage. This goal? What do you think it is? What you what think, it I think it is? Yeah. Don't go there, Roy. Because it have plenty man that look one way, and when you check them out or something else. Wait, wait, wait. You throwing that for me? And you catch it? <laughs> Anybody ever tell you how nice it is, look, Jenny? Anybody ever tell you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm waiting on you to start. Well, you're living in a fool's paradise. Oh, God. 
I don't mind being your fool. You succeed. <laughs> Welcome to you. You are mice in your mouth, or? You find it sound like a bird? A cobo? Eh? Wait, 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 wait. How come on a song? Listen to yourself. You know, as you just tell me, Kobo, I remember something was going on inside that day. I want to tell you, you know, but you will get vexed. What? When we were... I ain't telling you that. What it is, Roy? Don't get vexed. What it is? All right, all right. When we were kissing inside that day, Jenny, your mouth hmm. was smelling stink. What? Why did you say that? Oh, God! Like when you get vexed, it does get worse. Yeah, no, Roy, I would lick you down cold here today, no? Jesus, Lord, don't use your mouth. Get, you know what, Roy? Get out my house. Get the hell out my house. Get, 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 get. Roy. Jenny, I forget my key. Oh shit. Who's that? My husband. <laughs> I thought you. I thought you tell me you're living alone. Jenny, come and open the door for I, me. I, 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 I come in. Um, um, don't tell the man you're coming. You stupid or what? No. Um. Okay. Um. Jenny. I, I, I'm looking for the keys, honey. Come on, hide now. Hide where? Hide where? Shit. Jenny, I have a hot piss. Piss in the yard. Wash him out. Come in. Um, you know what? Which window? Which window? No. You know what? Freeze. Just freeze. Freeze. Right what the hell do you think? Ice? Ice? Jenny, hurry up, my man. I'll come in. Just freeze then, I'll freeze or you're dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> Stay quiet. Jenny. <laughs> come, come now, honey. <laughs> Hi, darling. Oh, God, I miss you, baby. I miss you. I miss you, too. Oh, you all right? Yeah, all right, all right, all, all right. right. Come, come for your food. Wait, wait, listen. We might not have to do a report for the station. Oh, all right, come and get your food. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Jenny? Yes, darling. Who is that? It's, it's not who. It, it, it's, it's what? Come, come and get it food now. No, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> How it looking real, sir? Uh, um, uh, I join our art class. <laughs> when you join art class? Wait, wait, wait. What kind of art is that? Um, that is sculptured art. <laughs> I know that they do sculpture in stone. But this thing looking so real. Oh, you know what? Um, it's a new thing that scientists come up with. Yeah. Um. You like it, honey? I mean, the, the finished product, it is look real, it is smell real, it is feel real, and it is even move real. Wait. Let me see something. See what? What are you going to Wait. do? Wait! Let me see something. But just feel it. <laughs> How does feeling real so? Uh, I don't know. Wait, hold on. Wait, no, oh God, you're going to kill him! You're going to kill him! Oh, you could dare too? No. Wait a minute. 
I'm going to put this through one more test. I'm coming. No, where, where you going, darling? I'm coming, I'm coming. Bedroom. I'm going for it. No, no, wait. Just... Oh, shit, he's coming, he's coming. Please. You move it. Eh? You move it. <laughs> Science boy, I tell you the thing is move. <laughs> okay. Let me try this. When I move, you no, move. No, no, no. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me hear it one more time out there for Oh God, girl. Well, I tell you, you think man easy, boy? You see when man one thing will let us do for it? Let me hear it. Um, that was Larry Joseph, Tommy Devines, and of course, Susan Kennedy. Give them another round of applause. Oh, gosh. All right. Um, what we have next? Oh, me and I'm here singing tonight. No, no. Oh, all right. We reach the stage, we jump in. A... Yeah, Trinidad, my boy. Just imagine the road march is banned of the year. Yeah, you understand that? Yeah, the road march is banned of the year. So, what's banned of the year? Must be the road march. Trinidad is the only place that's really, you know, it's a country. Although we're small and thing, we just have all kind of things, you know. Look, right now, we're preparing for hurricane. Be ready for them, you know. Be ready for all them hurricanes and them. As a matter of fact, I have a partner. You know what he just do? As they say, hurricane season, he just take off the roof of the house. They ask him why. He said, I the first thing that's blow off. <laughs> it's only a trainee could do that to nobody. A trainee is really something else to nobody. Man, take off the roof of his house. You know? He said, nah, I the first thing that's blow off. Somebody asked him, why is the difference between a hurricane and your ex-wife? I said, there's no difference. All of them just take the damn house and go. Oh gosh, I never know that hurricanes are speak until the other one will pass through Grenada. Yeah, he was there, boy. Then the hurricane passed, he said, hold on to your nuts. That is what he tell a coconut tree, you know. He asked him why, he said, this blow job ain't gonna be easy, you know. That is normal bacchanal talking. I just get a little joke, and some people didn't feel the laugh, don't laugh, you know. Yeah. I went to a flower show the other day, and they asked a question. What is better than a bunch of roses on a piano? I tell them two lips on an organ. <laughs> Anyhow, um, ladies and gentlemen, what is um, happening right now? We're getting ready for um, another segment. But before we do so, we'd like it to take about a 10 minutes intermission, and we would come back with Louis Antoine, Larry Joseph, Blacker from Jamaica. So in the meantime, we turn you over to the DJ for some music. How about giving the first half a nice round of applause, the man of gosh. All the laugh, all the laugh. Yeah. So we're coming back with the second half of the blowout. So take a 10 minutes intermission. DJ, run the track selector. Because them why no one wanna. Yeah. Eh. Who is that? Scrunter. Eh. Hey boy. Yeah man. Yeah, yo, yo. Yeah man, you ever see? Yeah. Rupee, rupee. Yeah man. Yeah man, yeah, love yeah, man. Alright. That was a little piece of rupee. Um, let's give our in-house DJ and I wanna play some lovely, lovely music. Okay, people, uh, before we get into our comedy blowout, we have a more serious blowout here. Right now I'd like to call on stage a young lady. And let me tell you about this lady. She's a uh, a Democrat, and she's going up for the civil court judge, Kings County Democratic primary, that's September 12, 2006. Just for, us, for her to come on stage and say a few words to us this evening, I would like you to welcome Dina Douglas. Bring her on with a nice round of applause, please. Uh, thank you very much. Be brief, be short, and be gone. <laughs> My name is Dina Douglas, 
running for civil court judge. I was born and raised in Brooklyn. Most importantly, I'm a daughter of the Caribbean, parents hailing from the lovely island of Karakou in the West Indies. <laughs> I love my people. I love my borough. I'm running for judge because I want to even the playing field. I want to make a difference. I'm here to briefly address you, to ask you for your support, and to remember me come election day, September 12th, and that is 2006. Thank you, enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you very much, Dina Douglas. Short and sweet. If them Trinidadian politicians could have do that, God boy, when they come on, they want to know the mother days and who they born and, you know election in Trinidad just now again? Yeah, boy, Manning start campaigning. He went to the IMF and they asked him, you know the meaning of the IMF? He says, my fault. <laughs> them fellas are politicians, they ain't easy, no? You know that the West Indies cricket team, you know they, uh, they also here in Brooklyn too? Yeah, I think they went to Queens, they had a game today. I ain't get no report of what happened, but they, Brian Laron, all the boys out here. There's also another game tomorrow, same place. So they've all had nothing to do and they want to go and take in some cricket. So you know out here it is hardly getting real tickets. You know, we just play four one days and five one days, four test, yeah, test series. We lost the test series, but we were successful in the one day series. So give the, the boys from the Caribbean a nice round of applause. It's just the other they start by playing rally around the West Indies. I wasn't hearing it all the time through the people are easy now, boy. They started to play all kind of other things. They say licks, West Indies can't come back, but the fellas doing well. And I think Lara, after this, maybe next series, I think, I feel he's going to call it, he's going to call it off, yeah. But he did a fantastic job as a, as a training too, yeah. Big him up, big him up. Yeah. Brian Charles Lara. Yeah. And as always, tell people the meaning of Lara, which is L-A-R-A, is leave and return anytime. Yeah. All the, write down that one, eh? All right, people, it's time for comedy blowout. Right about now, we're bringing on stage two people, man and a woman. I think they come in, it's some interview because these days, you know when you come up here to get certain things, they start to go in and they start to interview you and ask you certain questions concerning even marriage, see how you and the husband go in. If things looking good, you may be a citizen, you could get your, your green card. If they get you two yellow and a red, that means you're off. So ladies and gentlemen, put your hand together one more time. Let's welcome Susan Kennedy and Davide Samaru. Bring them on. It's looking like Bacchanal. Let me keep out. Hello? Ben, I'm at the immigration office. Where are you? Oh, you're downstairs. Hurry up. Yes, I have your money. Excuse me, didn't I give you your down payment? Of course, you'll get the balance after the interview. Yes, just hurry up. Okay, wait. Did you memorize everything we went over? Okay, good. Now, remember, my mother's name is Enid. Yes. Okay. Oh, you, you have the pictures? Okay, good. Oh, wait, wait. Wh what are you wearing? Oh, a suit. A suit, right? Okay, perfect. All right. Hi. Hello. Hello. What? Ben, what, what the hell are you wearing? Versace girlfriend. <laughs> On the first plane back to Trinidad, if you see her, no, you have to tone it down. Listen, girlfriend, I don't leave the house without wearing my accessories. Okay? No, listen, but, listen, but listen. I, I know that you're worried. I know exactly. I know exactly what to do. No, but uh, okay, watch. Okay. I know the word. Watch, watch, watch. All right. I did. 
Father, please. Father, please. Help her get through this. This is the last time I'm going to lie. Yes. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, oh, Mr. Armstrong, pleased to meet you. Ooh, Mr. Armstrong. <laughs> I love that name. <laughs> Oh, oh, nice name. Nice name. Uh, uh, oh, uh, our names? Oh, um, Mr. and Mrs. Benover. Ben. Ben, you over. Uh, yes. Oh, um, where did we meet? Well, um, initially we were pen pals. And, um, oh, we, we met on the internet. Oh, it was fabulous. You know, the internet is so great. You never know who you're going to meet. Just look at us. <laughs> uh, when, when did we finally meet? Oh, um, <laughs> this is a funny story. Um, one day he took me window shopping on Fifth Avenue. Oh, and oh, we. Oh, let me tell you, let me tell you. Mr. Armstrong, you should have seen her. <laughs> She was just coming towards me the first time that I'd ever seen her in her beautiful Chanel outfit. Her makeup was flawless. And her weave, exquisite. I just couldn't help myself. I said, stop! Girlfriend, those shoes are fierce! <laughs> These are my pictures last Halloween in my dominatrix outfit. Woo. Woo. I look so good in patent leather. Woo. You should have seen me with my whip. Whoosh, whoosh, whip, whip. Ben, ben. Oh, sit down. Oh. oh, well, listen. Well, let me show you my other ones. These are a night out with the boys. The night with the boys, and this was the Chippendales, and Carlos, and what? What? Y you don't want to see these pictures? He said put them away. <laughs> Excuse me, sir? Just describe our underwear. A lovely lavender lace thong, and oh, oh, you mean her underwear. Oh. Well, I don't know what she's wearing. Probably some Walmart special or something. How, how often do we... How, what, what did you say? How often do we what? Have sex? 